Hi everybody, I'm just going to walk you through this decision matrix example that I put together. I created it in Microsoft Word just by going to insert and creating a table and then um, merging some of the cells and putting the colors in. So um, this is comparing two options for a problem at a restaurant, long week at long table wait times. So one option is just hiring more people to handle the tables and another option is just assigning existing wait staff to additional tables. Um, so first up is you just need to decide your decision uh, criteria for this. So I came up with these four and yours might vary depending on what your actual um, decision is that you're looking at. So if you're looking at purchasing a laptop, then reliability is probably an important factor to look at. Um, so those will change around. And then what you do is you assign a weight to each criteria that you came up with based on what is more or less important. Um, I use the scale of 1 through 5. You can do that or 1 through 10. It doesn't really matter what the scale is as long as you rank them consistently. Um, and I ranked customer satisfaction as the most important thing, a 5, and then right behind that employee satisfaction. Um, and then 3, cost to implement was kind of in the middle. The timeline to implement was the least important thing. Um, you could rank two things as the same number if you want to. So if two things are the most important, they could both be five. They don't have to be spread out necessarily. Um, and then what you go do, do is you go through and rank each of your options against the criteria. So hiring more wait staff is probably a more costly option than just assigning uh, people you already have to, to take on more tables. So um, the cost to implement that one is less favorable because it costs more. So the cost one could be a little tricky, um, but if something is less favorable, then you rank it lower. So that's a two, but this one probably doesn't really cost anything. So it's pretty favorable. It's a five. Timeline to implement. Hiring more wait staff is going to take a little bit of time, but probably not a ton. So it's a three. Um, assign, reassigning existing wait staff, that's probably going to be faster. So I set a four for that one. Um, employee satisfaction. I gave it a four for hiring more because maybe most people will be happy with that, but a couple people might not be. Um, maybe they, they don't want to have, maybe they'd rather have more tables and, and make more money. Um, and then sending existing white stuff is, is sort of the middle of the road. Again, some people might be happy um, with having their load kind of lightened and some people might not. Um, and the customer satisfaction, it's probably going to be most satisfactory to them to have more wait staff, to have a better experience, and potentially less satisfactory if um, the wait staff gets spread out a little bit more thin. So then once you have everything ranked, you go through and multiply it. So cost to implement um, was weighted at three times this rank of two, and it became a six, and then three times five over here is 15, and then you add up each in each column, and then it should give you sort of an idea of which option is looking better according to your um, criteria and your weights. Um, this one looks like hiring more weight staff is, is outranking this one by a little bit. If your numbers don't seem like they're coming out right, you might go back and double check them and make sure um, things are sort of ranked the way that you want them to. And sometimes if they're super close, um, you can kind of make an argument for either one. But that's the basics of creating a decision matrix. There are other um, ways to kind of outline it. You can search online for other options, but this is one option you can definitely follow. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks.